From the expected downtown tourism boom to new city offices aimed at making Louisville more equitable. Those are just a few of the highlights from Mayor Greenberg's State of the City address today. WLKY Shaquille Lord details the mayor's plans for the future. Just 30 days into his new role, Mayor Craig Greenberg highlighted what the past few weeks have been like and how he and his administration plan on moving the city of Louisville forward. Inside the Americana World Community Center in the Beachmont neighborhood. These are just a few of the reasons we have to be excited about our city's potential. Mayor Craig Greenberg stood in front of business and nonprofit leaders, as well as city workers, to deliver his first State of the City address. He cited the growth in downtown Louisville and the addition of new hotels for the expected tourism boom. Louisville tourism expects us to have more visitors in Louisville in 2023 than we did before the pandemic in 2019. He also announced new additions to his staff. There will be two new executive directors for the Office of Equity and Office of Sustainability. And he revealed two new offices within Metro government. The Office of Philanthropy's goal includes developing a universal pre-K plan for three and four year olds in Louisville. We'll work in partnership with local and national foundations and nonprofits to coordinate strategies and investments geared towards solving some of our city's biggest challenges. The second office is Immigrant Affairs, which will be led by Amos Izirimana. We have the services to help integrate and help, uh, you know, welcome our newcomers. An immigrant himself, his role will be making sure the city services are equitable for everyone. I believe over the last year we received almost 7,000 Cubans that came to Louisville, uh, but we also get thousands of refugees that um, come through the refugee resettlement program. In the coming months, Greenberg says the community care center in the Smoketown neighborhood will open up, giving people experiencing homelessness the services that they need. Today, the state of our city is strong. Tomorrow, let's work together to make it even stronger for ourselves, for our children, for our entire city. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.